G'day and welcome back, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at the Turtle Riders demo. This game is basically a tower defense game, combined with some survival and roguelike elements as well. There is a little bit of resource gathering, lots of progression. If we have a look here in the upgrades, there is uh, quite a number of things that we can increase over time. Not everything is available in the demo, of course, but there's a lot to do and a lot to look at. Let's start a game here. So the story is basically you are this little fella here and you ride on the back of a turtle as the name turtle riders would suggest. These turtles have stats. You can unlock new turtles with different stats. But being the demo and also, you know, the first time playing, we have the basic Terragon. 1000 HP, 14 speed. It crunches obstacles, healing HP, but losing stamina. And you have weapons to choose from. Quite a variety there, but we only have the longbow unlocked, which is medium in every measurable stat there. Let's ride. Okay. So, shooting is automatic. I can control the speed of the turtle to go slow or fast. Fast uses stamina, slow recovers stamina. Little obstacles in the environment like this rock up here. And you can investigate. Anything that glows you can interact with. And, uh, oh, that was dangerous. And you can switch back and forth between aim mode and uh, interaction mode, basically. So I'm back in aim mode now. You can see the arrows fire as soon as that energy bar is full. But you can click to fire early to shoot a weaker uh, shorter range arrow as well now I've leveled up I've got five kills kills give you experience points obviously and uh, here are my choices for new skills increases the turtles HP regen increases projectile size and damage increase the chance to shoot one more projectile 20% or increases the projectile size at the cost of flying speed so that's a huge size increase. But size and damage sounds like a good middle ground. Okay, these guys are actually shooting at the turtle. You leave him alone. Okay, the extra damage is very helpful. Please don't do that. Get away from my turtle. Just gonna switch back to interact mode. I'm gonna feed him an apple just to keep his health up. Okay. Increase the chance to shoot more projectiles. When you pick up orbs, four of them will spawn and damage enemies. HP regen. Where is the HP, by the way? Up here. 904 out of 1000. Or even bigger shots. I like the idea of multiple projectiles, actually. Okay, so I only played the demo, and that was relatively easy. Now we're getting absolutely swarmed. And my poor aim is not helping. I'm going to keep plucking these apples to feed him. Increased max HP, increased damage of fire spells. Okay. Could be good, but I don't have any spells at all. Increased chance of one more projectile. Way more max HP for less damage. Um, let's just do a basic vitality, I think. Gonna feed him that apple. So it's important you choose your aim when you deselect from aiming mode. So basically, I'm in aiming mode now. And if I want to change to interaction mode, I right click. It keeps that aim and keeps shooting arrows. So you want to be mindful of how you leave it while you're busy interacting with the world, digging holes and breaking down obstacles and things like that. All right, tail whip. The turtle can hit with his tail, okay. Increased projectile size again. A magic lantern burns all enemies that come close to the turtle. 
or just increase pure damage. Uh, quite a choice. Is Tail Whip... Is Tail Whip an automatic thing? Maybe I just want bigger. Yeah, let's get bigger arrows. Why not? Looks like there are some things here I can eat. Oh, that increases stamina. Very nice. Lots of projectiles. There we go. We're spamming. We're spamming. That's fine. Drop that apple. Chop this log. Now you'll see the big tentacles coming from the side of the screen. The objective is to basically outrun that and make it back to the outpost before it reaches me. Um, and you see my progress bar in the bottom left here. So I'm nearly at the end. Increase fire rate and evasion. Fire rate sounds great. Fishing. We'll always catch a fish. Okay, I guess I need to keep my eye on the water for fishing opportunities. Fish will also increase the turtle's max HP. That's potentially good. I like this. Leave me alone. Oh, is that a... That is an obstacle. There we go. Get that tentacle out of here. I'm going to speed up now. Start running. We've reached the tower. See our little friend here waiting to greet us. When I played the demo, this, uh, sorry, the tutorial, this seemed quite chill, quite relaxing. Now I'm finding I'm being rushed and <laughs> finding it quite stressful. <laughs> Apples replenish more health. Spike traps come down from the trees. Cutting the rate will activate it. More projectiles. Let's do it. Please stop shooting my poor turtle. I made it. Eat that. Dig this hole. Click the bird. Lots of interactive stuff you've got to keep an eye on while you're trying to survive. Dig that. Now, if I click me, I can upgrade. I've got seven wood, seven stone, and two blue gems. So in the tutorial, I upgraded the tower, which expands my tower to fit two more ranges in it and plus 100 max HP. If I have three green gems, I can unlock ranges. Can unlock better tools. Better tower. But it looks like I can't do a darn thing at the moment. So we'll carry on. What is that? Right. Moving through the Emerald Forest. I feel like I didn't get much strong with that run, so I'm a bit concerned what's going to happen to me here. Oh, there's some fish bubbles. Bomb. Let's go fishing. Boot. Great. Is that a enemy? It is. At least I can spam arrows for close enemies. I need to help break this down. Feed him the apple. I want to check that. There we go. Got a little gem out of that. Okay, increase fire rate. Increase critical chance at the cost of damage. No, I think I want to keep fire rate, actually. Fire rate seems very important here. Awesome. Some more wood. Spam, spam, spam. Get away. out of there. Okay. A big elk will march towards enemies. 
Increased knockback force of air spells, or apples are bigger and heal more. Elk March. What does it say? Cool down 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds I get another elk. I need to be mindful of where my arrows are aiming. It's quite, um... Yeah, I don't know if it's meant to be stressful, but I'm... <laughs> well, yeah, quite stressful. Caught a fish. There we go. So I need to go slow for a bit just to build up the stamina. Oh, here's my elk again. Nice. So it's just going to come out automatically. Charge through and hopefully... Uh, Clean out some enemies for me. Just gonna let that go for a second. I'll break this obstacle. Increase the chance for enemy attacks to heal the turtle. Interesting. Fire rate and projectile speed, yes please. Help me, Elk, help me. I'm getting swarmed here. That needs to stop shooting me. There we go. Collect the wood. All right, I'm gonna pick up the speed a bit now. Tentacles are approaching. Grab the gem, feed the apple, click that. Start shooting. Ice shards will fly towards enemies, damaging and slowing them. Projectiles have a chance of pushing enemies back. I like that. Well, we made it. Despite your directions. Interesting. So I think there's little glowy orbs. They're currency for upgrades. Oh, I forgot to upgrade. Can I do that now? No, I blew it. I blew it. That's not good. Okay, collecting, collecting. Pick up the pace here, buddy. Such a good idea, this game. Sort of got a uh, dome keeper esque vibe. Bit of dome keeper, bit of tower defense, bit of uh, like point and click interactivity, I guess. You gotta balance your offense and your defense, balance your resource gathering with your basically ability to aim. Something is spooky in that tree up there. What is that? Don't like it. Projectiles have a chance to pierce. HP regen. Oh, my turtle's nearly dead. Uh oh. Feeding these berries quick. Oh, that's that's not health. That's uh, stamina. Eat the apple. Get away! Get away! Get away! I died. Sorry, turtle bro. I let you down. Okay, got 139 orbs. Got some spells over here. I'm just, uh, you need to unlock the element basically to access them by the looks. Let's see if I can afford any upgrades. Increase damage, fire rate, critical chance, projectile size, multi shot, turtles evasion chance. Hit point regen, maximum HP, resistance, tail hit, orbs spawn more frequently, apples are more frequent. Okay. Stamina regen. So all the other turtles are locked behind the demo. I could unlock a blow gun eventually. Higher fire rate, but smaller projectile size and spread. Interesting. So I think the upgrades have to come in the form of these traits here. So better damage, better fire rate. 
but they're only very incremental by the looks. Let's go again. The same weapon, same turtle. Special attack. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Good shooting there. Level up. Fire rate and projectile speed. Turtles resistance. Big elk. I like the elk, but I like swift ammo. Don't like these guys that shoot. Quite rude. Okay, chance to evade. Critical. Resistance to the cost of move speed, that sounds terrible. Get rid of that thing. There we go. To sprint up there, turtle. Let's keep moving. Frozen Keltrops, they're at 32 seconds. Ice shards. I've got the ice shards. How do I use that? Is that just automatic? Right, I need to go slow to regen my stamina. Spam some short range arrows here just to get these guys off my back. Grab that, grab that. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, leg it. Let's go. Uh, air shots. No, we'll get the elk this time. Just about made it. Here are these flying buggers. And before he leaves the screen, I'm actually going to remember to upgrade this time. I'm going to slow him right down. I'm going to dig this hole and see what I get out of that. Jam, get that stick, click that bird, it does nothing. Can't do a thing. Which is a shame. So that's the end of level one again. Alright, here we go again. Get some fishing happening. Work from the ice shards there. Gonna hold a bomb up here. Lovely. A visible line shows projectile's trajectory. That's good. Ice shots would be great, so I can upgrade my ice element here, but this seems really good.
That's quite helpful, actually. Uh, double shots. Plus one chance in size, yeah. Grab that, grab that. Grab that. Good timing from the elk there. Hopefully, they're not so this riffraff. So I have to choose whether I should be aiming or interacting with resources. Line extends further, air shield, explosive shots. My own side, I think. Bee Swarm. Critical chance, fire rate and speed. Let's do it. Made it. Good. Oh, upgrades. Upgrades, okay. So, tower can fit two more rangers. A friendly ranger. A friendly ranger. Don't really care about these tools. Not that I can afford them anyway. But the extra rangers should be excellent. Assuming they're somewhat effective. Let's find out. Come on, fishy. There he is. Elk will deal more damage. Projectile size in exchange for flying uh, flying speed. Frozen Keltrops, that sounds alright. That's ice theme. Which is what we want. Oh, there's that thing in the trees again. I think I can stop those. Get away. Uh, I want regen, I think. help me right, let's speed up how are the little helpful ranger pals doing that's how I've noticed them too much which is a bit disappointing Uh, 
and increased chance of double spawn two sparks that will instantly kill enemies in contact. Interesting. Oh, damage resistance actually sounds quite important here. Come on. Come on, fishy, come on, fishy. You're not a fish. I think I'm in danger here. Come on, Elky, help me. Give him that apple, come on. Elk spawns faster. Faster cooldown, yes please. I feel like I'm lacking some real crowd control here. Those ranger buddies would uh, the answer to my prayers, but they don't seem all that effective, to be honest. I've got to get rid of that. Let's go. Uh, keep aiming towards the ice. Upgrade. I think I'm going to die though before I get there. Run, turtle, run. Nah. Failed. A few more orbs to spend though. Fire rate and damage. Critical size, multi shot, evasion, regen. Reduction. A few defensive upgrades. Well, I'm gonna leave it there for this one. I think I'll definitely come back to this. It's an interesting game. It seems like there's a bit of a learning curve to it. But I feel like if you um get the right build happening, you probably have a pretty good chance. And there's a whole lot more to uncover. I really didn't unlock any of the spells. There's so much more upgrades I can use and uh, progress within each game as well. So I'll definitely be playing some more of this. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It keeps you on loop when new videos drop. And if you're interested in this game, I'll keep a link in the description so you can go check out the demo and wishlist the full game for yourself. The release date is to be confirmed, but it does say coming soon. So we'll see about that. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.